it's a beautiful day out today. Believe it or not, I can say beautiful when it's minus 17, uh, about minus 18 right now, but it's blue skies. There's not a lot of wind. It's a perfect time to come out and try some frozen bubble photography. Uh, the big secret to frozen bubble photography is the formula and the fact that you need no wind whatsoever. Um, bubbles are delicate, so any type of wind, you're gonna have very limited bubble life. So, no wind. I've set up a table here in the backyard. I put a glass down on top of the table and then mounded a bunch of snow up around. Uh, the, the technique is pretty pretty basic, pretty, pretty easy. Uh, the formula, uh, it's on the screen right now. Why you add corn syrup and sugar to your bubble mixture is that creates a tougher skin of the bubble. Uh, thanks to Chris from the Alberta Auroras uh, group on Facebook who posted this uh, formula. I did it before without this formula and it's really challenging. You gotta, it's, it's all trial and error, just pop, 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 and hoping you get a shot. It really does make the bubbles last longer if you use his formula. It's on the screen now. It's also going to be in this, the description down below. And also I'll throw a link into the Alberta Aurora Chasers page as well in this video. So um, let's get started. A little bit of bubble mixture in a straw, suck it up a little bit and then put some down onto the base of the cup. Um, some people do it directly on the snow, but with the warm water, it melts the snow and I don't want that to happen today. Um, it's going to sit on top of that glass and then the bubble will come up. Uh, it's all trial and error here. You got to learn the technique. Once you get it, then we'll go to the camera and we'll show you the setups on the camera. I've tried two straws, the big bubble tea straw and the uh, little drinking straw. And I find I get better results with the little straw. I thought maybe the big bubble tea straw would be uh, the way to go for this, but I find the little straw is uh, is fantastic. Technique for this is very simple. A little, little bit of liquid sucked up into the straw. That's all there is to it. You gotta be careful with the wind, but that's it. I put a reflector as the bubble dispersed. I put a reflector behind the, uh, the bubble on a little hook there. And that's just to create a black background to get some separation between the bubble and the background. My fence is white, so there's not a lot of separation there. So having a black background is, is really nice for this to do. Um, you can do it frontlit or backlit. Um, today I'm doing it frontlit. I might spin you around to show you backlit as well. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a simple, easy technique. Actually, let's get rid of this guy. Here we go, guys. Now don't get frustrated because it takes a little bit of practice to do and the bubble just burst. But giving you an idea of what I'm running right now for the back of the camera setup, I am rocking uh, 1 3 20th of a second. Um, actually, I'm gonna change my setup here. My shooting setup today is the 5D Mark II, 7200 on it. Um, you don't need a macro lens for this. A macro lens would be wonderful for this but you can get away without having it. I'm not using a macro lens today because I just simply don't have one. I wish I did. This would be amazing if you had a macro lens, but this can be done with a 70 to 200 like I'm using, or even the kit lens that comes with your Canon Rebels, those 18 to 55s. Just make sure your focal distance is, is locked in. Um, sometimes you might do a little crop, but for this situation, I'm not doing that at all. Um, my setup right now is my F-stop to f4 because that's the lowest this one will go a 2.8 would be great have a real creamy background but since my background is going to be black anyways uh, i'm okay with that shutter speed is 1 12 50th of a second that's a little underexposed just a smidge because i'm getting a good sun flare coming from the uh from the sun behind me and that just cuts that down just a little bit it's not taking away from the ice crystal formations that are happening there's our first bubble of the day. And I'll get my focus on it. There we go. I'm gonna lock my focus and just start shooting. The icicles are forming now. There we go. You know, now that I've reviewed the images, I'm kind of not happy with this setup at all, um, being front lit like this. We're gonna try it side lit. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot in front of the uh, camera that's filming now. We'll move the reflector behind and uh, shoot this way. Um, I don't like the direct light. There's not enough um, contrast happening in the image. Hang tight. Table setup. 
reflector set up. What's it mean when a police helicopter is hovering over your house? Bubble is ready. Let's do a test shot here and see what we got going on. Focus is locked. Focus is locked. And we'll see what these turn out like. That's kind of a, just a boring shape actually, believe it or not. But uh, let's look at the back of the camera here and see what we got. Yeah, I like this lighting setup better. Um, it creates a little cascade light across the, uh, the image and uh, catches the little ripples of the uh, crystals as they form. So this is gonna be our setup. Now that I'm dialed in, it's just all about repetition. Blowing bubbles, shooting, blowing bubbles, shooting. Out of all these frames I take, I'll take hundreds of shots today, probably even thousands. Um, depending on how cold I get, right now I'm rocking no gloves, smart idea when it's 18 below. Um, I'll be out here for about an hour, but it sounds like a lot if you're not into photography, but for this type of thing, it's really not a lot. And we'll go through those and out of those thousands, there might be, you know, a couple of, a couple of hundred that I really like, and then one real standout gem. Final setup of the day is cameras now on this side instead of this way and the reflectors over here. Uh, this will create some nice backlight. Also, I've switched cameras. Um, my shooting camera now is going to be the 70D with a Sigma 17 to 70 lens on. Uh, there's the table set up with the bubbles and the reflector and that be the sun up there. I think out of all the three setups, this setup is the best uh, to do the bubbles. I've got the reflector far enough back so the light isn't blocked by the reflector. So it backlights the bubbles nicely. Uh, I think it creates the best definition of all the crystals, but it's all personal taste. That's why I wanted to show you the three different setups. Like I said earlier, this is my favorite setup, backlit. The wind is nice and calm right now. Let's get shooting. You can even do this at night using a blue uh, gel over a, 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 a speed light, or if you don't have a speed light, use a, a flashlight or even a trouble light. Any type of light really with a blue gel in front of it, you're going to get some fantastic results. Yeah. Your specific camera settings are going to be completely different depending on your lighting setup. Notice earlier my camera settings were completely different than they are now. The light has changed dramatically just in the half an hour, 45 minutes that I've been out here. So. Don't go by my settings, go by your settings for that day. Watch your histogram, make sure you don't overexpose. The only thing I can't stress enough about frozen bubble photography is patience. The slightest wind will burst your bubble. The slightest wind will burst your bubble. So patience, repetition, repetition, repetition. Dress warmly. Uh, it's not too bad right now, like I said earlier. So I'm, I'm running my gloves off. My gloves are down here. In my gloves, I've got hot pocket warmers. Hang tight with it. When you start to get results, you're gonna get addicted to it. And your family's gonna think you're crazy. Your neighbors are gonna think you're crazy like my neighbors do. But the results, magical. Every so often, you're gonna to have to clean that off. That jagged edge will burst your bubble even more. Your camera setting's gonna change constantly. So right now I'm at uh, 1 250th, ISO's 100, F11, but that'll change just depending on your setup um, and which way you're shooting, I'm backlit. So I'm, I've changed my speed just a little bit. I'm underexposing just a smidge, about, um, about a quarter of a stop just for today's conditions. And that's just because I wanna have a little more contrast in my image. 
but uh, let's get shooting. One little trick I'm also using is a cable release for the 70D. Once I know I'm in focus, I'll just rock the cable release with it. Backlit, definitely where it's at. It's all up to you on what you like. Front light, side light, or backlight. And in the end, this was the shot that stood out the most for me. The way the ice crystals dance across the face of the bubble makes it look like a tiny frozen planet. And that little starburst on the upper left-hand side of that bubble, that is a tasty shot. That's all there is to it, guys. In the meantime and in between time, stay healthy, stay safe, stay warm. I'll catch you next time. And as always, guys, please rock the subscribe button and ring the bells for notifications. We'll check you next time. Thank you.